Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax Garage, the channel that's here to help you figure out how to build your dream garage. And today we're going to go over my final thoughts on the New Age Bold 3.0 series cabinets. So let's jump right into it. Well guys, before we jump into this uh, video, as you can see behind me, my garage is completely different uh, because those cabinets are gone and I filmed this a while ago. So it is actually crazy to see the change in the garage. But anyways, um, I am giving away over $18,000 of tools in the next eight months. This giveaway I'm doing now is a $3,700 Sonic toolbox, 185 uh, piece tools inside. And how you enter is simply just be subscribed to the channel and leave a comment on any one of my videos between now and July 31st. After that, there's another toolbox and after that, there's another toolbox. So keep on coming back and leaving a comment. Every comment is one entry to the giveaway. One comment per video. So pretty simple, just comment on each video, something useful, something in the realm of the video and that counts as an entry. Now, if you want to get more entries, I have a link down below to some merch I have for sale on my website. Gas tax, hats, shirts, hoodies, and so forth. For every dollar you spend, you will get three entries. So, I'm doing this giveaway with my buddy Ilya from Extelgic, and I'm gonna tell you, his followers are winning right now. So, if you guys wanna help support the channel, and you wanna show Ilya that, uh, we're better. Uh, be sure you hit up that link down below and get yourself a shirt, a hoodie, or a hat. But anyways, let's jump into this video and let's talk about the new age bold cabinets. All right guys, well I have done three videos about these cabinets. My first video was an install, my second video was a six month update, and now it's my final review. Now why do I call it a final review? Well, in order to help you guys figure out your dream garage, I'm switching things up. I've had the New Age Bold and Pro Series cabinets now for a year. I am selling them and I'm getting a different style of cabinet so I can help you figure out which cabinets work for you. But let's jump on to the Bold Series cabinets. This is the cheapest style cabinet that New Age offers. It goes Bold then Pro. I have a video about the Pro and then I have another video about comparing the two so be sure you check those out. Now the Bold Series cabinets are much smaller than the Pro. These come in at 82 inches tall without the feet. They are 17 inches deep and this is the eight piece kit. Now some quick specs about these cabinets. This is 25 gauge steel, whereas the Pro is 18 gauge. This is also a single wall construction, where the Pro is a double wall construction. But that being said, these are still great cabinets. Now I installed these cabinets by myself, and when they came delivered, all of the components you see here were packed neatly in these tall cabinets. One pallet, and then all of this fits inside these two tall cabinets. Since they are single wall construction, you can install these by yourself. I did, but that makes it a lot easier to pick up and put on the wall. The Pro Series cabinets, those are pretty heavy. Now I've used these cabinets for the parts bins that I have for all my different car projects. So let's check inside here. One thing I do is I utilize these totes. I will put a link down below for these. But basically I just have all my different projects sorted out uh, by the different totes. So one thing to keep in mind, these shelves are adjustable every eight inches. With the Pro Series, you can adjust them every inch. Moving down below in this mini cabinet, I just keep my welder and a couple other drill bits and accessories for the welder in there. And moving on to this side, we have a five drawer set. Now this one actually comes with the dolly wheels so you can move it around. Since I have this concrete ledge, I didn't want that so I just rested it on the ground. I just keep miscellaneous, obviously more welding tools in here, um, some different size wrenches and then obviously these big guys that I've ran out of space to store over here. 
Since the last time I did this video, a lot of questions were asked about this setup. This is called the Omni Wall Wall Organization Setup. I do have a link down below and I also have a whole video series about these if you're wondering. So one thing to keep in mind when you're choosing your new age bold series cabinets is there are a ton of different layouts. This is just the eight piece. They have 20 piece, they have four piece, they have two piece or you can buy them individually. So make sure you click the link down below. It supports the channel. Go to garageorganization.com and you can choose out the, uh, the optimal layout for your garage. Now when I choose garage countertops, I stick with wood. I don't like stainless steel. Uh, you can see all the scratches. Wood does scratch up, but it, you know, it visually absorbs the scratches more. Uh, you do have the option to go with stainless steel top with the new age bold and the pro series. Now as you can see these cabinets are actually sitting on the ground but they can be wall mounted as well. One thing I personally want when I do cabinets is have them wall mounted that way there's nothing on the ground below. I do have a weird concrete ledge so it is kind of resting on that ledge but they are actually bolted into the studs. So where do I see you using these cabinets? If you have a single car garage, I would recommend these. If you have a shallow uh, garage, these are only 18 inches where the Pro Series are 24 inches. I would see you getting these. And then also if you are just looking at a cheap, nice set of cabinets, and cheap is in inverted commas there, this eight piece set goes for $1,400. Now when I first got these, I was extremely impressed with the amount of cabinet space you get for the dollar. But when I got the Pro Series, I was even more blown away. For double the price, you actually get like four times more storage. So there are pros and cons, but if you're working with a smaller space, stick with the Bold Series cabinet set. Now guys, I have a couple other videos about the Bold Series cabinet sets, and if you go through the history of my channel, you'll see they've always been here. So I have utilized them. I am extremely impressed with them. If you're on a budget, go for the Bold. If you got a little bit more room and uh, more money, go for the Pro. That's really where you'll get your value for money. But if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Let me know what you want to know and I'll be sure to answer all the questions. Well guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. That's all I have to inform you about the New Age Bold Series cabinet sets. But until next time, I'll see you then.